Hey YouTube, Renegade Danny bringing you my Discus Planet Tank. This is just an update. I changed a bunch of things, got some new equipment, uh, a few new plants, and um, just a few things, and I'll go through it all. I just want to show you a quick overview of what the tank is looking like now. Um, don't know why it, it looks a little yellow. This camera is not working right, but um, it's actually real clear. And this is the tank, so. I'm going to start off with the driftwood. I put two new pieces of driftwood. This is two that I just overlapped on each other. And uh, I think they look real good together. So I got rid of the smaller pieces I had. And underneath there is where my yo-yo loach now hangs out. Yeah, it's always hiding. And this is the new substrate. I got rid of the regular fluorite. And now I'm using the Seachem's black sand fluorite. Which is made for plants. It's really good for them. And I like the sand. <laughs> Here goes uh, my Malini Cory Cats. They really like the sand. Um, Cory Cats and sand go together. They clean it up well. They really love it. It's easier on their bristles. It doesn't injure them. And uh, I just like sand better than anything else, you know. And uh, this is one of my new plants. Again, the Luigia Repens. It's going through its changes through my tank. Some of the leaves are falling off. You know, and it's turned a little green, but oh, once it adapts, it'll turn back to being mostly red. And now in the back here, too, I put in, I grabbed a couple of uh, giant sag. Uh, so that's new in the tank, too. I keep that in the back right there. Can't really get a good view of it, but there it goes. And then, of course, my discus. So this is what I mean. Ultimately, what the whole tank is all about, the discus. And I love my discus. I got four of them here. So there you go. We got them all in there. And yeah, this is the tank. So it's gone through some changes, uh, some equipment. Now I got two, uh, let's see, air stones there because I have a new Fluvo pump, the Fluvo Q1. And uh, I actually got this for free. So testing it out, seeing how much I like it. And then inside here, I upgraded from the 206 to the 306, which is the Fluvo canister filter. So it's a, it's a much bigger filter than the one I had on there. And actually got that on sale, so really great deal on that. And back to the tank. I'm really liking the way this tank is looking right now. I'm hoping not to have to touch it again, just let everything settle in and grow out. Um, I really like the upgrades and everything I've done to it, so I'm satisfied with it. And uh, all right, I'm gonna jump to feeding the, the discus real quick I'm uh, feeding them here some brine frozen brine shrimp and these guys love it they're gonna make a little bit of mess but they'll clean it all up so uh, you'll see them picking it up off the floor and everything once they get through the majority of this cube and uh, this is pretty much the only time I can get them all together <laughs> is when uh, doing some feeding of course the little blue one back there He's the he's the one I was getting picked on, so he's the little runt. But uh, everybody feeds, everybody eats, you know. Let me throw this in there so they can just uh, attack it and watch him go to town. And there it is. Oh, already tearing it up, and it's swallowed. Now they just eat up all the little pieces floating around. But uh. Yeah, everybody knows, you know, this could kind of make a mess, but you'll, you'll see them. They'll clean that up, and good thing about, like I said, the sand and everything is that it, uh, any debris or even dead plant material doesn't get trapped in any crevices of the sand because the sand is so compact. You know, nothing sinks in rocks and me for it. That's why one of the reasons I love the sand, and like I said, with the Cory Cats and that, the Yo-Yo Loach and everything in here, They'll clean up, you know, they're the cleaning crew, they'll clean it up and, you know, you won't have too much leftover food. And plus, anyways, you know, you do your weekly water changes, you know, your chemistry of the water will be fine. And then, you know, the health of the tank and, you know, the health of the fish, everybody will be just fine. But uh, those cubes do make a little bit of a mess, but like I said, the fish will clean it up. So here it is again. Like I said, uh, my plants still got, you know, the crypts in the back, the 
door sag in the front, some java fern in the back. And then, like I said, more crypts. And there goes my yo-yo load, she just comes out. They, everything comes out when you start feeding, you know. There goes the pleco, there goes the yo-yo loach, the curry cats. Everything comes out when you start feeding. So those guys, like I said, those are the guys that are going to clean up everything back there. There you go. Yo-yo loach helped a lot. I had a, before I even went through the rescaping here, I had a real bad snail infestation. And, which is part of the reason why I cleaned up the tank. I wanted to change a few things out anyway, so I figured let me just do it. But I've had that yo-yo loach in maybe three months, and he absolutely destroyed every single snail I had in there. So if you have a snail problem, get yourself a yo-yo loach. Uh, or just any sort of loach. But, uh, yeah, there goes the Pleco again, and the Cory Cats. Like I said, I only got two in here right now. I don't know if I'll pick up any more. Uh, these guys do pretty good, and as you see them, they, they're enjoying the sand, like I said. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Renegade Danny, comment, please, you know, share. Um, so, till next time, I see you guys. Renegade Danny, I'm out.